One, two. Can you tell me if my brows look even, Jaden? Oh yeah, they're a little off. They can't even see you, Jaden. How do I get in frame? Anyways, so Jaden, can you can you um zoom in? No, not that far. <laughs> hey guys, yes. welcome back to my channel. Today I have Jaden with me. This is my son. He's gonna be helping me out with filming today, and he's behind the camera the whole entire time. Mm -hmm. So wish him luck. We decided to go to the drugstore. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I haven't been in a while, so I'm really excited. I already have it on my face, so I already know. But I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. So if you want to see how I got this look, one of my favorite neutral vibes for November then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you be a part of the Dom fam and without further ado let's get into this video it has nothing to do with this video but I just wanted to share this with you guys I just put my mask on because we're about to go into Walgreens which was right next to this cinnamon stick that I got from Trader That's Joe's really and it smells really yeah, good though do you smell it it smells so good and it makes the whole car smell amazing and my whole mask smells like cinnamon sticks mm -hmm. and I love it. Yeah. All right, so let's go in to the store and see what we can find. I'm so excited. Here is all of their beauty aisle. Starting from there, all the way down there. It's like there's a pharmacy line though. So this NYX aisle, ooh, I'm excited. These look promising. I'm gonna take this one right here because my pores need to be blurred. Okay, I haven't seen these from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna take the coconut one and it's gonna set, prep, and do all the things. So let's take it. These are my favorite foundations right here. So I'm gonna come over here in this section. I'm gonna go with one of these. I'm gonna take Natural Buff. I have one of these at home. This is such a good setting powder for the under eyes to like brighten it up. I just saw this one. It's a full coverage concealer. The can't stop, won't stop. So we're here. Might as well just grab a setting powder from here. HD Studio finishing powder. I kind of want to try it out. Let's test it out. Mm, so I've heard so many good things about this blush. And so I'm going to try. Let's try that one. Ooh, so there's so many good things at NYX. And I don't want to keep grabbing from NYX because it's going to be boring. But look how cute this is. This is so November vibes. I want like everything from here. This is a really good mascara, you guys. They're almost all gone. So that should definitely tell you something. And I tried this as soon as it came out. It's so good. Definitely worth the price. Too. I am all about luminous bronzers lately. I think it makes your skin look so good. So I think I'm gonna take this one. I have never tried this from Revlon. It's new. So this is a prismatic bronzer. And then this is a highlight I've never tried from them. So I'm gonna take both of them. They look promising. I get some drugstore lashes and the ones that are always really good are from Ardell and Kiss. I'll probably go with these. Okay, we made it back. I have my huge $200 Walgreens bag. This is actually pretty expensive for a drugstore. Me and Jaden were like 100, 20, 30, 40, $200. We're like, okay, that is an expensive drugstore haul, but I have my Grande Ice Latte Oat Milk Caramel Syrup Extra Cinnamon Powder Caramel Drizzle Decaf. I'm a lot. Wow. That's all I have to say. What did we call this, Jaden? Oh, the churro. This yeah. is a churro. Extra cinnamon it gives you that churro kind of vibe. It's so good. But okay, let me un unpack all of this and I'll be right back. All right, so I have everything opened up and I'm ready to put it on my face. This is like so random. I was like, I didn't get a greeting card, but I realized that Walgreens actually, they're doing this randomly to people. They're just giving them really sweet cards, telling them they're amazing and keep going. This is very, mm -hmm. I love this. It's very on brand for me. So the first thing we are going to try out is the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Pore Minimize. It blurs, I have really big pores these days. I don't know why. I got a little Botox for the first time. I never get it here. I always get it like on my lines right here. I do it like once or twice a year. I never got it here. I probably didn't even need it, honestly, but it bruised so bad. I think because this is such a thin, sensitive area. That's probably why, but it's going down. Thank the Lord. This primer is very like, it almost feels like greasy. I'm a dry girl, so I don't mind it, but it does feel greasy if you are oily. I feel like it would turn you off a little bit, but let's see how the foundation applies on top of this. So her foundation, we got the 24 hour Pro Glow Infallible from L'Oreal. A little bit on the back of my hand. Hopefully this is my shade. So let's see how this works. It's actually a little light, but it's okay. I just really like a radiant type of glowy foundation. I feel like it makes my skin look really 
healthy. I wish you guys could see what I'm looking at right now. Jada being crazy in the background. Okay, this is medium coverage, but I'm getting a very like sheer kind of feel right now. So hopefully it will build up the coverage for me. I'm gonna add another layer. Like I want the finish to be glowy, like more of a natural kind of glow, but I also want to have coverage. So I'm hoping that this gives me all of those things. I can still see my skin through there. I mean, I can still see like a little bit of blemishes, but I think that's something that concealer can definitely help with. And I did get a full coverage concealer because I was going more on the more radiant side, medium. I mean, and it's okay to look human because we all have pores and skin. We're not all blurred out and smooth like a filter. Now we're gonna move on to the, I'm gonna do the contour first. I like doing the contour before concealer lately just because it kind of helps like soften it out a little bit if I need to do concealer. I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Concealer Stick and this is in the shade Medium Tan. We have a contour on this side which is kind of bright for me and then we have the highlight on this side. This is more like a brightener, it's not really a highlight but we are going to contour the nose. To me, this is more warm, almost like a bronzer kind of a shade. But of course, you can't take it out of the box and look at it in the drugstore, so you just kind of have to use your best judgment. I just add a little bit of contour here to make my upper lip look a little bit more pouty, a little bit more on the lower, and then right in here to define the cheeks and the temple. I'm gonna use this brush right here from Patrick Tall. So ignore the brush, the brush is not drugstore. But I was looking around at the brushes and because I have so many, I really, I'm gonna show you how many I have. I have more than this, but this is just a few uh, brushes that I have. I'm gonna show you on my phone. So these are my brushes right here in front of me. This is all the makeup I pushed to this side. So I can make room for my drugstore makeup on this side. And that's you and me hanging out right now. I'm gonna blend this in and then we're gonna work on concealer and brightening in just a little bit. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna last on my face. This Wet n Wild contour is actually moving around really nicely on the skin. It's very soft and it's blending smoothly. I have a whole video on contour hacks. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll have it linked somewhere here, there on the bottom somewhere so you guys can check it out and with the concealer i'm using the nyx can't stop won't stop i have not tried this but this is a it says contour concealer i'm using the shade natural which was the only one left so i'm gonna go ahead and take that on my under eyes and it says that this is supposed to be full coverage so i'm gonna apply it like i would like a full coverage glam so i'm gonna take over most of my under eye area with this I like the tip of this, it's very thin and narrow, so you can get really precise. Let me take my beauty sponge and just work that in. My ring is probably gonna annoy you guys, let me take it off. And if you guys are wondering, this is from Irie Me Collection. I get a lot of questions on my jewelry. Any jewelry that I have on is probably from Irie Me Collection. This, these earrings are from there. Actually, this is from Adam and Matter from Bethany Moda's line, but this is Irie Me Collection. She has some amazing, amazing jewelry. If you want your concealer to really, really get full coverage, let it sit for a little bit. Let it sink into the skin a sec and softly tap over it and you'll get the most coverage out of it. I, ooh, I already like this. This concealer is so nice. Like it's not heavy. It doesn't look dry and cakey and it's giving me really nice coverage. This is a good balance between the glow foundation and the concealer. This is a really nice balance. I really, really freaking love this combination right now. Now we're gonna get into the eyes. I'm really skeptical about primers for the eyes. There's not a lot that I really like. So when I try new ones, it makes me nervous because I've had really bad experiences. But anyways, we got the Shadow and Liner Primer from NYX. Let's see what it does for us. By the way, you guys, I was gonna do green, like emerald green tips for the month of Thanksgiving nails. And then she started doing this color on the bottom just so it can have a nice base. And I fell in love with it. I was like, okay, just leave it how it is. Isn't that pretty? It's like very natural. I'm definitely gonna go back to this lady and get them again, but this time with tips. I just wanted to try it. I've never had my nails like super natural like this, but I really like it. It's super clean. So one thing I'm already noticing is that the primer is very, very tacky which is a good thing. So my eyeshadow is really gonna grip 
I just want to make sure that it dries so it doesn't get sticky, like stuck in certain areas. I have like three different eyeshadow palettes in front of me. I have this one from Maybelline. This is such a great palette. I got this one in PR from Pop Beauty, which is also a drugstore brand. I also have this one from PR from CoverGirl, which is really nice and neutral. But then I saw this guy at Walgreens and I was like, I definitely have to have that. So I think I'm gonna go between these two and just play between the two and see what I come up with. I don't know why, but like during November, the month of November, I love neutral. Like I like to neutralize my look a lot. I went very heavy with pumpkin spice and oranges in October, but now I wanna go very neutral or just brown. I feel like we're in that transitional time where we're like not pumpkin spicy, but going over to peppermint mocha vibes. So I'm gonna start off with Explorer and Creator, which are these two shades right here. The only thing about drugstore is that they never have mirrors and I need a mirror, but I have my L'Oreal powder mirror and we are gonna pop it into the crease. Ooh, this, these two tones together are really, really nice. I'm gonna take Creator and just sweep it right under the lash line. I'm gonna stay out of that red tone I used earlier. I think it was called Explorer because I just wanna keep that on the top. I don't want to make it too warm underneath. And then I'm going to go into Self Starter. I love the names. This is very relevant to creators that are self starters. Very inspirational. I love that. So I'm going to go into Self Starter. I'm going to go right into the crease right below that first shade. Okay, I'm going to go a little heavier with the brown. So I'm going to go into the NYX Ultimate Edit. So I'm going to go in with this smaller brush, taking this brown right on the outer V. Ooh, there is some fallout with this one. Not too bad, but it's a darker sh shade, so I understand. The only thing, you guys, eye primers aren't on my favorite is because they get so sticky that you, you almost can't move the shadow very well. They're just not easy, you know? That's why I always like to use concealer and then like a powder, translucent powder over. I'm gonna bring this on my eyelid. So like right in here. And then making it a V outside here. And with really light pressure, just going over everything and using circular motions to make sure we have everything nice and smooth. I'm gonna mix Voyager, which is this deeper shade right here. It almost looks like a plummy brown. I'm gonna mix that with the dark brown we're using from the NYX palette and create like a little bit of an eyeshadow liner at the top. I'm gonna take some of Voyager and those two browns that I use, I'm gonna take them right under here and connect it like that. Jaden's playing with this slinky right next to me. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that Jaden, my son, has been here on my channel for a long time. I've showed him throughout the stages of his life from like six years old to 10. Now he's 13, he's gonna be 14, you guys. Jaden, come back in here. This young man, he's gonna be 14 years old in January. Can you believe that? I'm actually going to take Creator, the first shade we use right here, and just smudge that underneath because I like a drop shadow vibe. I feel like it makes it look more natural, adds depth to it, it's not so flat. I'm gonna take that right underneath everything. And then, you know what, I'm really liking this espresso color. To me, this is more like an espresso vibe. I'm gonna take that, oh, that's such a pretty shade. Taking that over the space that I don't have any shadow on and kind of overlaying it in the in the crease. Okay, well their shimmer was really beautiful. It went on very smooth. Okay, I swear this is gonna look so much cleaner once I clean the sides up, fix my brow, put some lashes on. I'm gonna do my lashes. I'm gonna wait to do my brows. I'm gonna get my lashes on first because I know I'm gonna have to go back into the liner. So for the lashes, I got the Kiss lashes. These are really, really nice. Ardell and Kiss have really nice affordable lashes. Okay, now I'm gonna clean up all this eyeshadow mess underneath my eye and around it and my brow. So I will be right back because I have to put my brow back on. I'll be back with a clean face. Cleaned up my face, my brows. So I wanna add some highlight on my inner corner. I'm gonna take a little pencil brush. I'm gonna go into Dreamer, this like more of a pinky champagne kind of shade. And I'm gonna take that in the inner corner right there. And then I'm gonna take Soloist 
That's more of a matte shade. I want to put that on my brow bone. Work it down into the other shadow so we have like a nice gradient going on. For the mascara, I got the L'Oreal Lash Paradise because this one is so good. I'm going to mesh my real and false lashes together and then do the bottom lashes too. We are almost done with the eyes. I just want to go into this cover girl. I've never seen this, but this is the Easy Breezy Brow. It's a 24 hour brow ink pen and I really am so excited to try it. I love brow pens because it creates those natural hairs that I don't have. Okay, this is a little inconsistent. Some parts are good, some parts need help. I still haven't found my ultimate brow ink pen, so I'm still working on that in my life. But I heard a lot of good things about this NYX cheek tint, so I picked it up. It is called Sweet Cheeks, and I got the shade Nude Tude, and it looks like a lipstick, but we're gonna pop it on our cheeks. And I like that it's more neutral because it goes with the neutral vibes. For me this month, I really love a neutral look. Take a little bit on my nose and just work it in with a little beauty sponge. Very, very natural. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, that looks like a little bit more pigment, which is good. This is a nice color. It blends really nicely on the skin too. I'm gonna set my under eyes. I have this finishing powder that I'm gonna put all over my face just so everything sits in place right. It looks like snow. It's really, really white. I'm just gonna take it and go lightly over everything. And this is the HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. I'm gonna add my favorite part when it comes to my skin. This is one of my favorite drugstore pressed powders and that's from L'Oreal. It's the Infallible. It is so freaking good. It makes your skin look like porcelain smooth doll skin. I have the shade Ivory because I like to brighten my under eyes. So I'm gonna take that with a beauty sponge. And this is not a drugstore beauty sponge. It's actually, let me show you from Araceli Beauty, this is not a drugstore brand, but it's a really, really good brand that you guys should definitely try. I'm gonna go ahead and take that underneath my eyes. You see how much brighter and smooth? Oh my goodness. I look brighter, smoother, awake, alive, so much healthier. And then I'm just gonna take it right here and right in the middle. Okay, so now I'm gonna bronze up my face. I'm gonna take the Revlon Skin Lights. I have never seen this and it intrigued me because I do love a radiant type of bronzer. I have Tom Ford, which is an $80 bronzer. It's amazing. But I also have a Huda Beauty one that is also really, really amazing. Glowish. It's so beautiful on the skin and it just gives you a really pretty warm glow. So I'm gonna take this. I'm hoping that it works the same. I'm gonna swirl my brush in there. And this is the shade Sun Kissed Beam. And I'm just gonna warm up these cheeks. Wow, that just brought my skin to life. And you see how it's not flat? There's like a little radiant glow. It just makes your skin look so much better than the, the matte one. I used to be all about the matte bronzer, matte blush, everything matte. But now I am so in love with these radiant finishes because they don't make your skin look bad. They actually make your skin look better, especially if you have like, you know, divots in your skin, old acne scars. They actually do a service to you. They actually make your skin look so much healthier. So I am gonna use this on my nose because my nose contour is coming off. If you are at the drugstore and you need a bronzer, you need to pick this up. Or if you just love makeup, you need to try this. This is giving me almost even better than the Huda one. There's not that much shine in it. It's like a healthy sheen. I can't explain, but it's really nice. I absolutely love this. I'm so glad I didn't pass up on this. I was about to, and I'm so glad I didn't. Look how smooth my skin looks. Wow, that is gorgeous. By the way, does this hurt? If anybody is watching that has this ear pierced, please let me know if this hurts, should I get it? or should I just keep wearing this little fake one? The other thing that I got is an actual highlighter. It's a prismatic highlighter from Revlon. They're skin lights. Look how pretty that is, whoa. It's called Twilight Gleam. Take a little bit on my finger, bring it down my nose. Gorge, gorge. Okay, that is really pretty. These two, you guys need in your life. Like, wow. Look how pretty that is. I'm so impressed with Revlon right now. We are almost done. I wanna try out the NYX Natural Lip Liner. I've seen this on TikTok. A lot of people have talked about this and it, they make it look really good. So I wanna try it on my lips to see what it, if it's like my perfect nude. This is the exact color of my lip. That is really pretty and neutral. It's very, very, very neutral. I went a little too high here, but 
It looks really pretty. And then I also have these NYX lips that I just didn't know which one to pick. So I got them all. Let me just, I know Athens is really light. I'll just do a little Athens in the middle, in the middle so we have some color. And apply the butter gloss in Madeline. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Okay, that is the perfect nude lip. Natural with this gloss, Madeline. Mm -mm, can't go wrong. So we are done with the lips. The last part of this look is to set it all together. And I got this Wet n Wild Coconut Prep Set and Refresh. And I'm so excited because I love coconut. It smells so, so good. So I'm gonna spray that over. Wow, that smells so amazing. All right, so after my face dries off, I'm gonna show you guys the entire look. And I'll be right back. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and let me know you liked it. Comment below what you are excited to try in this video. My favorite was the NYX Natural Lip Liner and the gloss. So bomb. And if you haven't seen these two videos on the side of Jaden's head, <laughs> Today's motivational message is to make some time for your loved ones because they are the most important part of your happiness. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Say hi Mocha. Mocha! Mocha latte! She's running away.